and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and so happy that you've joined us. We are not live, even though it is Thursday at 7 p.m., June 23rd, because we are Zooming with our crafting friends at a meet and greet, and we're just so happy to be with them, but we wanted to make sure and provide you with some inspiration. So today we are going to be working with a sunburst card. So, happy birthday, America! It's all about red, white, and blue. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and cut a top fold card. And we've decided to cut a white card base. And that card base is four and a fourth by 11 and you score it at five and a half. But don't worry about writing down all the measurements because we will have those listed for you over on creativemomentsbyg.com. So you can head over to our website and click on blog and get all the measurements. The next thing we need to do is just go ahead and cut a piece of paper that is a little smaller because this is going to be the piece of paper we use for our sunburst. And so let me show you how to cut our sunburst. We need our scraps to be one by five and a half. And so what we did is we took a piece of this beautiful Starry Sky cardstock. We embossed it with this cut and emboss folder that's called Stripes and Splatters. Look how beautiful this is. So pretty. Now we went ahead and you just cut a one inch by a five inch and you're going to need to cut four pieces of this. So cut you a piece and then what we're going to do is you simply cut a diagonal cut. And so we are putting the corner, the right corner in the canal and the left corner in the canal. Closing it up, make sure it stays right where you want it. And then simply slice it. And now you have your two triangles cut. You need to do this in blue. You need to do it in red and white. And I wanna show you the paper that we have used for the red and white. Look at that sparkle. Oh, isn't that pretty? And this comes in red and white. And remember, all the supplies will be listed below this video if you want to purchase them. So get all your pieces, your strips cut, which we already have ours cut. And let me show you. We have our red, we have our white, and we have our blue. And now all we have to do is place these strips on our mat that we have already cut. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to start at the bottom and work my way up. Now there's another way to do that. You can certainly start right in the middle and then build your way down and build your way over to the left. But I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go ahead and start here. And one thing you need to pay attention to is depending on where you move this triangle, that's how big this area will get. So you want to try to stay the same, the same distance so that it all is about the same size. Now, you can go ahead and put uh, a tape runner, put the tape here or put adhesive, but I like just to make sure that everything is right and then I'm going to lay it down. Another technique that you might want to use is the press and seal. So I'm going to use the press and seal to show you how to do that. So let's start with our red. You don't have to worry about this end because we are going to have circles that cover this up. So let's just start with our red, white, and see I'm making sure these are about the same size, and then blue and just repeat the pattern. Mm. 
Now I have that just the way I want it. So imagine your card is just like this. You can see what it's going to look like. So now grab your press and seal and we're simply going to lay this down right on top. Now make sure everything is still right where you want it. And just go ahead and press it down. And now all we have to do is put our glue on our mat. Make sure you get the corners. And then lay it down exactly where you want it. And now you can simply take your peel and seal off very carefully, just slide it off. You can also use this piece for another project, so put it to the side. And we are going to use our scissors that have the silicone on it so that it doesn't ruin your scissors. We don't want to use our good scissors, right, because this has glue on it. And just cut right on the edge of your mat. Are you ready for the big reveal? And look at that. It is perfect. We love it. The next thing you'll need to do is create your circles that you're going to use to place right here. Now, I'm going to put this at the very top of my card, so my sunburst will look like this. I have already cut my two circles that I want to use and I simply used a stitch die for this circle and just a regular die for this circle. And I'm going to put them about right there. Look how pretty that is. So you have to know exactly how big your white will be once you cut off the edges because that's where you're going to stamp your message. So let's go ahead and put that to the side and then stamp our message. And I am going to use Starry Sky to first stamp. It's a party. And I'm just gonna line this up straight. Hold it for good contact. Look how cute that is. And now I'm going to probably have to use a post-it note so that I Totally miss that you on Let's Celebrate. So I'm going to try not to get it, but just in case I get a little bit of it, I'm just going to line this up. And look how pretty that is. I'm going to line this up right here and just get a sense of how much I need. To cut off. I need to make sure that the white goes right to the tip. So there it is. So I'm just going to flip it over and just kind of draw some marks so that I know where to cut. And now we're lining it up on our blue piece because then we're just going to give us a border all the way around. But before I do that, I'm going to stamp some beautiful fireworks. Now look at these fireworks. Isn't that adorable? This is from a paper pumpkin. You might have other stamps that you can use to create this fireworks. This is from July 2020 paper pumpkin. Just going to stamp. Stamp again, and then I'm going to bring in some of that beautiful Starry Night, and I'm going to stamp over it. I'm simply going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. And now remember I said I wanted this right at the top. I'm lining up this edge right here with this edge, both at the top and the bottom. And then I will just simply cut 
a border. So we're going to go ahead and put some glue and lay this right down on this piece of paper. And I can see where it is that I need to put my glue. Now we're going to see what it looks like on this piece of paper. Okay. So we're going to adhere this to the top of this and then we'll just turn it over and cut the back. Flip it over, cut that extra off and see we have a nice border there. And now we can simply add this to the top of our card and look how pretty that looks. On the inside, we're going to double mat it. We have our blue already cut. And we're going to add a white mat, but first we'll go ahead and put some fireworks. And look how pretty this turned out. Depending on the size of your stamp that you want to use, you'll need to cut your circle that size. So you can look at your nesting circles and pick the exact circle that you need. Now the last thing we wanna to add to this card is we wanna put some rhinestones right here. But the only rhinestones I have are clear. So I'm just gonna take one of my blends and I'm gonna use the brush nib and I'm just going to color over that. Look how pretty that will look. And now I'm simply going to add those, get my take your pick tool, simply add it right to the center. And look how that sparkles it up. Remember I said that I was gonna show you uh, two more cards. Here's another card that we put the starburst shooting up from the bottom, put a really nice big circle. We gave ourselves a border like we talked about. And then on the inside again, we put the starburst. And then finally, we used a completely different stamp set. And here we also used some DSP. You light up my life. Well, we hope you enjoyed these sunburst cards. We certainly enjoyed making them. We want to remind everyone to join us again next Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. We will have a YouTube Live and some more inspiration to share with you. Go out and make it a fantastic day, and we'll see you soon. Music